What's going on YouTube? Today I want to talk about my favorite baits for April. It's absolutely my favorite time of year to throw soft plastics, Texas rig most notably, but some other things here and there too, so let's talk about it. Like I said, soft plastics, Texas rig, any kind of creature bait, uh, a crawl style bait, <clears throat> or a lizard, you get up near the beds, these, these things, absolute, absolute favorite choices. And then of course if you're going down the bank and you haven't really found a bed but you're looking for beds um, you're still trying to get that reaction style bait a swim jig this is a honey badger lures swim jig uh, absolutely great i mean whatever trailer you want to use should work i like to use paddle tails uh, i think this is a rage swimmer but whatever you want to use and of course you can slow it down too when you find a bed you can kind of slow it down a little bit more and let them look at it a little longer just make them a little more angry next up I'm going to go to Old Faithful Wacky Rig. Absolutely awesome Wacky Rig. This is the one eye Wacky Rig hook from Vector Hooks. If you guys haven't checked them out, you need to. I do run the band on mine, so I'm actually have to hook the worm. Uh, you can throw a nail weight in here in the end to fish like a Nico rig. Either way, great concept. They both work. I prefer the Wacky. Throw a weightless. It's just what I, my preference. And then, of course, towards the end of the month, when, when they're garden fry and they're, um, you know, sitting on beds and you want to make them a little more angry than normal, a frog. I know it sounds crazy. Once the water temp gets up to high 50s, low 60s, a frog. You can throw this thing in cover. You don't have to worry about it getting snagged. I will throw, like, a popping frog if the shatter kind of up shallow causing problems. But for the most part, just any kind of pad frog. <clears throat> and lastly... A floating worm a weightless floating worm I really like this plum color this purple color kind of a red purple flake uh, pink is a really good color for the spawn not a lot of people throw it but it's different gets reactions for whatever reason you throw this thing in there let it slow sink tail has a little bit of action this is a bass reaper bait um, worm bass reaper bait contagion this is probably one of my favorite lures you can skip it real easy for the beds that are way back up underneath the shallows Things like the Zoom Brush Hog. This is the Baby Brush Hog, obviously. But, um, you know, Green Pumpkin, uh, Bluegill Color, Shad Color. Those are all going to be great choices. Black and Blue, obviously, if the water is a little more muddy. But just to kind of go back through, when I'm throwing my uh, swim jigs, I'm going to throw it on a 6.8 medium heavy fast action with a 7 speed reel. Uh, I throw mine on, my, on the 6 gill chopper with the 6 gill Nimbus amazing combo cast a mile with 6.8 it's a little shorter for a little better accuracy so if i kind of see a bed i can you know accurately get in there and then bring it across effectively <clears throat> the wacky setup is a six hill cypress it's a seven foot medium light i don't really feel like i need a real heavy rod uh, for a weightless worm that's just my preference i do throw it on the six kill reaver size 2000 i like 10 pound braid i just feel like braid for my spinning stuff especially lightweight braid um, swim jigs are going to be 12 to 15 pound fluorocarbon depending on the cover and the grass and stuff like that my frogs i'm throwing on a six seven foot five heavy uh six kilo nora paired with six kilo creus it's an eight speed reel this thing is a monster it's fantastic i throw 50 pound braid and you can break it if you're not careful i just feel like 65 is a little much I used to be all braid, um, and 50 is kind of where I drew the line. I switched over to fluorocarbon mostly. For my floating worm, I'm going to throw it on a 7.3 medium heavy, probably the 6 scale lichen. Um, you could probably get away with a medium if you're going weightless. I do like to throw mine on a bait casting setup, just preference again. Uh, same thing with my Texas rig creature baits. It's going to go on a 7.3 medium heavy lichen, also from 6 scale paired with an 8-speed reel. Looks like it's the 8-speed eight, eight cyclone. Uh, just so you can pitch it in and if they bite it on the bed and they run to you, you can catch up the slack with the high-speed reel. Um, links for everything will be in the description. This is a 4-rod EWG from Vector Hooks. Guys, April is one of the best times of the month to fish. You got the males are up shallow, the females are cruising beds. If they're not cruising beds, the females are on the bed. And for the early spawners, when you're with your down south, you know, Texas, Florida, that stuff like that, you have males garden fry. 
April is an awesome time of month to get out and catch fish, and it's a great time of month to catch bigs. Let me know down in the comments if you throw something different in the month of April that I didn't mention. Of course, there's baits all over the place that are going to work all over the bait place, but in the Midwest, this is what I'm using. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time.